Welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Tenvas. In this video, I am going to explain one logical example. Biggest of three integers. Here in this video, so I am going to explain the biggest of three numbers using if else if later. In the last video, I have already explained what is the syntax and what is the workflow is nothing but what is the flow chart of if else if later I have already explained. Here the concept is biggest of three numbers, biggest of three numbers. First I want to read, I want to read. Execution starts with the main function main. Here we need to declare the three variables suppose a, b and c a, b and c. Here directly I am writing read a, b, c values. I am not using printf and scanf function. You know how to read write a three numbers, three integers into integer type variables. Now directly come into that logic part. First I want to check a value is greater than b and c. If you want to check two expressions are valid expressions, then we go with a logical operator in C language. Logical operator is what double ampersand. Here we are checking that condition if A is greater than B logical and operator, A is greater than C. If the first one is a true as well as is the second one is also true if both the expressions are valid. So then only that if block condition gets executed. It is valid and we are displaying that message just like printf a, a simple message I have written. If you want to elaborate you can. Here it is just a is big and here else if, if a is not big then we need to check b is big or not. Here it is b we need to check with a as well as b we need to check with a c also. Here, here generally b is greater than a and b is greater than c like this we are writing and here it is printf b is big, b is big and if a is not big and b is not big directly else printf c is big c is big this is a simple logic actually we need to write but wherever you see right in a websites in other videos whenever they are going to explain the biggest of three numbers here it is this is not required b is greater than a is not required in the second case. So why? What is the reason? See here it is already validated how sir? Whenever, whenever the control command check that first one, in case the first one has failed either this one or this one right, here it will come to that second place. Here it is in the first place only we need to analyze how to analyze that code. code. The control command check this second one means what? The first one is invalid. First one invalid means what? Either A is greater than B is not valid or A is greater than C is not valid. In the first case, in the first case, case 1, A is greater than B is not valid is what? False. And in a case 2, and in a case 2, here it is a is greater than c is not valid is a false. These are the two cases we have to analyze generally. In the first case a is greater than b is false meaning b is greater than a is a true, b is greater than a is true. See here whenever we are checking here we are validating b is greater than a only. So already is validated, b is greater than a is true already. So then why once again we are validating? We are not validating again and again. Sir, suppose if first case is a true only, a is greater than b is true, 
a is greater than c is a false in that case the control come to here now validate this one a is greater than c is a false means c is greater than a is a true right here it is to understand more clearly give some values for example 20 is greater than 10 yes condition true 20 is greater than 10 condition true c is greater than a and here what we are going to check b is greater than c is nothing but here we are checking b is greater than c give one val value to b 30 is greater than c value 20 c is already greater than a here it is already greater than 10 see whenever it is confirmed that b is greater than c is so automatically b is greater than a why because already c is greater than a with the help of this one here this is enough this is enough to check here it is in the second case to check b is big or not means what instead of checking two expressions only one expression we check because with the help of that first expression it is already confirmed that here it is b is i mean with the help of these two cases you can analyze that only b is greater than c is enough because already confirmed b is greater than a it's proved right this is the way how to write or how to find the biggest of three numbers code for more videos please subscribe to narayshati channel thank you